Oh, this is where the workers struggle to. Yeah. Okay, mate. Settle down. Well, this is not going well at all. I think Worker B needs to be fired. Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms for another Let's Play episode on Start From Scratch, Hort Belleron. So, last episode we picked up this T9 New Holland. Uh, we also picked up a weed sprayer. And in a previous episode we picked up this Case Combine and Header. So a couple of nice additions to the farm there. So today the plan is... We've got a couple of harvesting contracts we can utilize so we're probably going to start off with this one here so I'm going to borrow the items and what I'm going to do is utilize both combines so the least one which we have here and also our owned combine just to get the uh, field done quicker Got a couple of vehicles in the. Let's see if we can get this header on. This is always interesting. Uh, oh, I wonder if that's worked. Let's find out. Yeah, we've got a couple of uh, used equipment pieces that we might want to take a look at. So we will see. See what we've got. We've got a baler. We've got a flatbed trailer. Um, I think that's secure. Something tells me that's going to fall off, but let's just see what happens. Can't tie that down. Okay, anyway. Alright, field 30 is the one we're looking for. So we have got to go down this way. So what actually, what I'll do is I'm going to hook up the... Hook up this guy. So this is obviously going to be for carting the, the crop around. Now it is raining a little bit, so we're probably going to have a reduced yield. But it doesn't really matter, I believe, for the contract. We still get paid for contracting regardless, so... Okay, let's send this down to field 30. So hopefully this guy will drive over there. Without too much issue. And we'll send this guy over as well. So let's send him basically directly to the same spot. And... They should make it there all on their own, so let's see what happens. So I've just got to see if this yeah, this header hopefully won't fall off. I don't think it will, but never say never. I don't normally use the header trailers, so hence why I'm a little bit sketchy with them. Get out of these bushes, that'd be helpful. I mean, I've done a pretty ordinary job of getting this on the trail, as you can see. <laughs> it's not even straight. Hanging on for dear life. Alright, we can see our workers driving on over up to the field there. So that is nice and handy. So what I'm thinking too is, potentially while these contracts are underway, I might utilise our T9, our newly purchased T9, uh, for some work on our own farm. But, we'll see what happens. I've got a feeling our truck just ran into our... Oh, he's driving on the crop, what are you doing mate? Oh, this is where the workers struggle to. Yeah. Okay, mate. Settle down. Well, this is not going well at all. I think Worker B needs to be fired. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, let's get this get this show on the road, as they say. So what I'll do is I will start one of these combines just here. I've driven on the crop. Don't trash me in the comments too badly. Haven't left myself much room here, but anyway. Okay, that guy's on the way, so I'm just going to put that on a worker straight away. I'll jump back into the ideal 8T. Let's get connected and get underway. So I'm going to park this guy, hopefully in a spot that's not going to impact our harvesting operation too much. Come on. There we go. So I'm going to basically start them... I'll start them at opposite ends and see how we go. Just 
just so they can work their way to the middle. Just means I have to be doing a bit of driving back and forth to cart this um, crop around. But I've got the I've got the man truck with the crampy trailer, so it'll make. And we're only going to the grain mill, which is basically just there, so it's going to be nice and easy to commute back and forth. Get this guy lined up and send them on their merry way. All right, we are off. So I don't know if the harvesting in the rain is going to reduce the yield and impact the contract. I don't think it does. Yeah, so it just says harvest the barley in field 30 and take it to take the product to the grain mill. So I'm reading that as if to say it's not going to be problematic, but there's always a first time, right? Oh, look, let's get another harvesting contract on the go. So let's borrow the items for this one. It's JCB fast track. So this is field 45. So what I'll do is I'll send this guy over on a worker. So let's open the AI worker menu. Field 45 is down here. So let's go down towards the BGA. Okay, so he or she, she should be all good to deliver that. All right, let's, so we've got another case axial flow here. So this is the same one that we own. Although this one's got a, quite, a, quite a small header in comparison to the one that we've got. So this will probably impact the harvesting time quite a bit. All right, now I think you're supposed to load from this side. Let's just see now touch there so we get a better run. Okay, I think that's, there we go. So that's actually aligned itself, which is good. All right, let's hook this on. Okay, open our worker menu, send him to the exact same location. It's not gonna work. So if that doesn't work, basically what I do is set destination to the closest road. So you can see in this case, it's near the fuel station just before the train line. So hopefully this guy will be able to negotiate the What's going on with that wheel? Well, okay. There, oh, figured it out. Sort of. And we're off. Okay. Okay, so we need to do it. We need to unload. So let's go and do that. Oh, they're both full already. That's some yield right there. Something tells me this episode is going to be a lot of me driving back and forth. All right, first load done. Let's uh, hook back up to our header. All right, field 45 is just here, so let's park this off to the side. All right, here we are at field 45. So we've got some, looks like there's some more barley to harvest actually, so we'll get this guy unloaded and un on task. And then we'll go check in on our other harvest contract. So this one will take a little bit of a, this one's gonna take a while, but we'll utilize the workers here. All right, let's grab our first load for this field. All right, let's go and check in on our so this guy's ready to empty again so wait till we get full loads here and then we're going to cruise over and yeah this guy needs to empty so let's so I'll swing by pick him up so we've already done almost half of this field so this is good so the uh the big header really makes a huge difference in cover it's just covering the field obviously got more more surface area at a time which is which is good and also it goes it does a little bit it does a little bit of extra speed on that one because it's the it's designed for the colossus harvester so speeds things up even that just that little bit further whereas this one here is just our stocko fent ideal 8t so it's got a smaller capacity smaller header so we'll start getting him unloaded yeah this guy's going all right so what we'll do is we'll let these guys run for a little bit and then we'll check back in once they're full again Alright, this guy is nearly empty, uh, sorry, nearly full again, so let's go and quickly unload. Yeah, didn't get there in time. You doofus. 
So if we had it been quicker, we could have unloaded on the go, but we'll just unload now. Uh, these guys are almost full, so we need to get our... Yeah, this guy's full already, so... Let's unhook that. Now, I know that you can pick up the straw from the contract and sell it on your own accord. However, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to bail this. So we'll get this guy unloaded, back to work. We've almost got a full trailer load here to go to the grain mill, so... Now, we are getting less yield because we are in the rain, but it's a contract, so that actually that actually helps us out by not having to do as many trips. Swing around, grab, empty the other combine. All right, here we are. Let's get this guy unloaded. And I think this will, this will top us up for a load over to the grain mill. So we'll go and drop that off in a second. All right, we're at 95%, so let's go and drop this off. So I believe the grain mill is pretty much just down this, this dirt road. And then we can turn left. So let's head on over there and drop this off. Yeah, perfect. All right, here we are at the grain mill. Let's line this up. Okay, so one thing you can also do with these production points is before you purchase them, any grain that you put in there will stay in there until you purchase the uh, production point. So we can effectively fill this up with contracted grain. And then when we come to buy it for our own production point, we'll have a head start on uh, internal storage which means we can basically turn that crop into uh, flour and bread, which is very, very handy. All right, how are these guys traveling? Okay, so we've really, we've smashed this field. It's been very, very quick. It's great. Okay, this guy's nearly full, so let's, let's go and unload again. So we'll do this on the run this time, particularly while he's uh, coming back up and the pipe is on the correct side. So if we can get the majority of this unloaded while we're Doing this little stretch here. All right, I'm just going to pull away. I'm just going to pull away momentarily so he can turn around. This guy's nearly full, so let's swing around quickly, try and get him on the run. Jeez, this guy fills up quick. All right, here we are, home stretch. So this will this will just about do us. So yeah, you can see the speed difference in harvesting here. So we're going at 14 kph, whereas the other guy's probably only going about 11, 10 or 11. So he's nearly full, so let's go and unload. Go and catch up and unload. Yeah, hopefully we can do this on the go this time, before he fills up. No, we're all gonna make it. Yes, just in time. So we haven't got much room here to drive alongside because this header is well, basically maximum width for this, this harvester. It's basically determined by the pipe out, the pipe out uh, length as you can see so piping out while driving obviously improves your harvest efficiency because the combines don't have to stop they can just keep going especially in real life where you have yeah, like a team of three operator in the combine truck driver and then a grain cart or possibly two grain carts just ferrying uh, grain back and forth so I'm just going to leave it there let him go past give him enough room to turn around actually what I'm going to do is I am going to I'm going to pipe out and then I'm going to drive this guy over to our other field so we can use our owned owned combine to help with the harvest on 45 so let's um, let's get this sorted so unfold header so our other com our least combine for this field we'll be able to wrap up the rest of that no problem at all all right beautiful so field 45 is just down the road here so I'll drive it over uh, it's actually more down that way, so I think what I'll do is I'll, go, I'll come down this way and then we'll cut across the train line. Hopefully we don't get collected by the train as we cross here. We should be fine, but has happened to me before. Alright, here we are, so let's hook up. These harvesting contracts have actually been quite quick. Surprising. They usually take a while. I mean, having two combines tackle the same field is makes life a lot easier. So let's get this little bit of crop here while we're going. Speeds up the efficiency tremendously. Obviously the size of the header plays a huge role as well. 
So this being, I want to say 13.7 meters. So it's about as big as you can get for console at least. Just run over some whatever that is, sugar beet. Don't judge me. Okay, this guy needs emptying, so let's hook on over. Okay, this guy, this guy's almost full actually. So what I'll probably do here is I will swing around, empty, go and load. So I talked about last episode how I had the McCormick tractor that we sold to get the T9 and how I instantly basically regretted that decision because of the loss that we made and the fact that it would have been good to have two trailers, I mean two tractors on the farm at this early stage to help with you know, various jobs because all we would have needed was a trailer of this, basically a trailer of this size and we would have been set for harvesting contracts so we wouldn't have to borrow the items so lesson learned on that one it was really not worth taking the financial hit to sell it because it was basically 50% of the value gone could very much uh, really set back your financials particularly if we didn't have the particularly if we didn't have the solar panels to sort of prop up our income so Right, I'm going to drive this over to the grain mill, so I'll meet you over there. Alright, here we are at the grain mill, so let's get this unloaded. Okay, cool. So I'm going to send this guy back on a worker. Okay, so he should be good to go. Alright, where is our... There yeah, is the one we want. So we go, field 30 is done and dusted. So look at that. That larger header has made all the difference in being able to complete this contract in the time that we have. So it's taken me like less than 20 minutes. We were struggling up the hill a little bit here, but we'll get there. Uh, it looks like our worker is stuck as well, so I'll have to go and address that. Okay, so that guy should unload without me having to be in there. I mean, the automatic engine start is good, but it does get annoying when you constantly have to get back in and start the vehicle. Okay, let's see if this guy can figure it out from here. So if I go open AI worker menu, send him to there. Okay. He's going to go the total opposite way, but anyway. Alright, let's get these guys prepared for... Oh, they haven't even finished this field yet, so that's handy. So I'll just do this a little bit. Push this other guy out of the way. I mean, not entirely realistic. Actually, this is good, this guy. That'd be easier. Can I get in there? Alright, get this last little bit. Hopefully we'll be able to do it in one pass. Let's check in on... Where is he at? He's all good. Okay, let's drive this off. Now this should uh, complete this contract. Oh, that was handy. God, the last thing we want to do is ditch it into the water. That would suck. All right, here we go. Contract on field 30 is finished. All right, let's collect that. Okay, 11,000 minus 2,000 lease costs. So let's, uh, the other one we've got is field 45. So this is, okay, we're stuck on a light pole. Great, great work. Okay, so we've probably got well, one more load, hopefully, and then we're done. So let's head on back over there, get these guys emptied and carry on all right we're empty so we've got this guy here to finish off with so hopefully hopefully we can do this in just one more trip all right hopefully we can get this unloaded in one go and one more trip to the grain mill that would be ideal so we can wrap this contract up all right, that looks like all of it. Let's just double check. Okay, that's all of that. All right, let's drive this on over. All right, here we are at the grain mill. So this will be the end of that contract. 43% transported for field 45. Something tells me... Okay, I think that's a mistake. Where's the rest of it? Um, 
okay. I'll see what I've done here. Oh no. You idiot. <laughs> okay, so because I was harvesting in the rain, we got less crop yield. Um, and because we got less crop yield, the progress bar is still anticipating that we would have a full yield, but we got to reduce the yield because it was raining. And the only reason why we got away with it on the other field is because the field is much bigger. Oh my god. What a waste of time. So we basically have got zero chance of collecting on this harvest. Wow, that's painful. Oh god. Right, well that seems like a great place to end. So thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. Uh, I will see you in the next one. And bye for now.